But then the idea of, uh, you know, a left society, which I think it's a beautiful idea. Now, some people might say that's very utopian or even idealistic. And, you know, I think you've talked about the idea that technology is bombarding us constantly with a lot of negative news. And we wake up in the morning and our brains are filled with this stuff. So how can we live in a loving society when there's so much violence and destruction in the world? Well, there's a lot of love in the world, too. You might wake up in the morning, uh, see a news uh, program about something terrible that happened, but the news program isn't going to tell you about all the wonderful, loving things that happened today. Yes. And we have to claim that space for ourselves and our own personal lives yes. to wake up in the morning and ground ourselves in not only the idea that we can receive love today, but more importantly, that our purpose is to give love today. There are some terrible things that happen in the world that happen, but there are also many, many, many wonderful things that happen. As far as people saying that it's naive to think that we can order our civilization according to the dictates of love, which actually naive is to think that we will last for another hundred years on this planet if we do not make this transition. Yes. And I also think it's important to not only remember, but for those of us who believe strongly in the power of love, to stand on this unabashedly in the public sphere. Those of us who recognize the importance of love are not less sophisticated thinkers. In a way, it's a more sophisticated thinking. Because the more committed you are to love, actually the more cognizant you are of the power of evil. Because evil arises in the space of not love. Yes. So those of us who are saying things like we should put more resources into taking care of our children, educating our children, feeding our children, are not doing so out of some naive view of all the evil in the world. Yes. We're doing that out of a very sophisticated recognition that if you do not take care of these children, they will be far more vulnerable 5, 10, 15, and 20 years now mm -hmm. from now to these very evil forces. So we really need to, to push back against this idea that we're just a bunch of um, uh, lightweight thinkers who don't understand how the world really works. It's that we do understand what, how the world works, and that's why we're doing what we're doing and saying what we're saying.